Okay. <clears throat> Underwater Rugby Channel here. I'm Davril Tien, and with me are three players from Italy who have joined the Vienna team. So, could you introduce yourselves, your name? Hi, I'm Fabio Neri from Florence. What position do you play? <laughs> Goalkeeper. I'm Luca Rossi Romanelli, defender. What club do you come from? Florence, too. Hello, I'm from Florence, I'm Gabriele Chiani, and I play attacker in this tournament. It costs quite a, uh, quite a bit of money to make this trip all the way to, to Norway, and you joined with a club that is not your club, Vienna. And uh, how did this happen? Well, I think it's definitely worth it because the organization here is perfect. You can play full matches against very strong teams. Uh, so it's uh, the, the very beautiful experience is worth the, the price. So we are just happy to be here. Yes, I agree. I totally agree with Luca. It, you don't ever have the chance to play full matches, full length matches during the year. Uh, the tournaments are interesting, but they uh, force you to play smaller matches. So this way it's much more intense. Every match is much more intense. Is this closer to your image of professional sports, the way, for example, football is played in Italy? Uh, yes, uh, unlucky I'm in Italy if there's, uh, there's uh, only the soccer and uh, um, this sport uh, it's not very considered. Yes, uh, it's the big problem of this uh, in Italy. But we try, we make the possible for uh, bring it uh, in all the Italy, but uh, it isn't very easy. It isn't easy. I think this kind of tournaments make us be just a little profe more professional because the organization is really professional. The, introdu the introduction, the music, uh, the interviews and the, um, the, the videos, it's, it's, everything is very professional and I really appreciate the Russian effort to, yes. to do all this and we are grateful to Russians for and this. Some beautiful yeah, well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, for the first time in your careers, you are recorded on high definition television. What does that mean? It means a uh, big step forward for underwater rugby, for diffusion of underwater rugby. Um, it makes this sport um, more how can I say important to uh, to the public, to the audience? Because since now uh, you have found uh, low-level um, recordings or low-level streaming, from now on you have uh, a higher step of this kind of um, broadcasting. I, I I think it's one of the bricks to build a professional uh, system. And. Uh, one of those which is necessary, not one, um, it's not an exception. It's not optional. Yes, it's not optional. And, and in fact, now you have seen yourselves, you know that you are recorded, so you have something from your underwater rugby career that you can show here. I play at the top level, here it is, even if you only put it up on YouTube for yourself, it's for a lifetime. Yeah, uh, this experience is worth one career, actually. And uh, we hope we will be able to come back, maybe with an Italian team with a few years, because uh, we are building again a stronger team. And uh, step by step, we will come back with a strong Italian team. You can. What club would it be? Uh, Firenze, probably Firenze. But uh, we are many m small clubs who are growing up, so maybe um, even more than one team. Rome is uh, the, the capital of uh, CMOS. They have the chief, the head office of CMOS in in Rome. Have you ever been to visit them and talk about underwater rugby? Yes, we we have, but uh, we don't have numbers that are good enough yet to give um, power to our message to the federation. So um, we are a bit ahead. Uh, we are we need really to go much farther than we are now. Is the Italian Diving Federation closely aligned with CMOS or is it representing the interest of Italian sports? How can I say? Um, we, I think that at the moment, uh, Italian Federation um, doesn't look at uh, underwater rugby as a um, perspective, with a perspective, with as a future for their for their federation, for their organization. Uh, that's why we are taking our efforts to 
bring it up and offer something that is uh, interesting for the federation because at the moment I don't see much interest in this sport. I we we don't I can I don't know why uh, they they don't invest enough but uh, we want to uh, see we want to show that underwater rugby is something that could be a real asset for the for the federation. Did Italy send a team to Cali? No, it didn't. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel that uh, um, f we are a small l so society in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Italy for rugby, and, uh, and uh, there aren't uh, the money for the sponsorship of, uh, of um, the team. And, uh, go to Cali. People were sad not to see Italy and Cali. That was sad. That was very sad for us too. We had many friends sending messages from Cali and pictures, and we would <laughs> starve to be there, but uh, next time we will be there. So you skip it all and just go straight to EuroLeague? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, kind of. I, kind of. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Davide. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great Thank job, you. really. No, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Bye.